In today's adventure, we unbox build and overview the FMS F18 70mm EDF jet version 2 that comes with reflex flight stabilisation and safety features. Coming up. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Joe. And I'm Amber with the RC Kiwis. Kiwis. On this channel with everything from bats and crawling, speed runs, unbox reviews, and much more. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. That way you won't miss out on any of our future RC adventures. Now this adventure is going to be one of the most exciting ones we've ever been on ever. This is our very first jet, very first jet ever, and I cannot wait to go fly it. Today, of course, we're not flying, but the flight video will be coming very soon. Now, the F-18 Super Hornet, the real thing goes almost two times the speed of sound. It's, it's more than two times faster than the likes of an A350, A330 when you're traveling on your vacations, which hopefully everyone will be going on very soon. I'm sure this thing's fast, maybe not that fast. Now, there are a lot of features to talk about when it comes to this FMS model of the F-18 Super Hornet. We're gonna get to that very soon, but first, Amber, let's get this RC jet out of the box. Man, this thing is so nice, and I'll admit, I did open this up earlier on, I have a sneak peek and get the instruction manual out so I can have a bit of a read. We got the plug and play version, so you are gonna need your own transmitter and receiver, and we'll let you know what we will be using very soon. Uh, also, this RC does have some of those flight stabilization features that the likes of your E-Flight models or the T28 we recently reviewed has, and we'll talk about that soon as well. So we get all these pieces out, we're gonna build the plane together, and then we'll go over some of the features on this plane. So here we have a wing spar. So this is one of the wings. Actually a really nice color, isn't it? It's a nice gray. Here we have the two vertical stabilizers. Can you fire them? Yeah. They get me running. You also get a USB to USB-C type plug. Comes with a little bag of screws. Anyway, Amber, let's get this plane put together. Well guys, I'm not gonna lie, this thing looks scary. It looks fast, it looks furious, and I am super excited to see Joe's face when, it ha when he has it up in the sky. But how long is it going to last, I wonder? We shall see. How did the build go for you, Joe? Well, the build was very straightforward, very simple to put together. Probably took about, what, 20, 25 minutes? Maybe for me, a little bit longer than that, maybe close to an hour, just trying to get everything <laughs> perfect. But there was nothing significant, I ran into no issues. The build was fairly straightforward. Now I'll give you an overview of the plane, starting with the nose. The nose cone is magnetized and it pops off really, really easily, which is great because if you do have some bad landings or you know, nose dives, and you do damage the nose, you can just replace that part without having to replace the whole entire fuselage. Moving back, you can see the detail, attention to detail of this plane. You've got pedo tubes there. The cockpit looks really, really nice. There's even cockpit instruments and the pilots painted up. In the rear seat, that's where we're gonna have an onboard camera for some epic onboard footage. Uh, the leading edges are plastic, which is really good. So you've got the foam is the main part of the plane, but then the leading edges do have a layer of plastic there to help with rigidity, help with a bit of strength. Uh, coming back down to these beautiful swept back wings, looking at the leading edge, you do have a sawtooth 
there, which is like a zigzag and a leading edge, that creates a wee vortex that helps to streamline or straighten the, the um, span wires flow. That's gonna reduce its drag and it's also gonna help with its stalling characteristics. It means it's gonna be able to fly a little bit slower. It also means it's gonna be able to fly a little bit faster with that reduction in drag. Then you've got all these ordnance, all these the bombs, missiles, the fuel tank on the bottom <laughs> the there, which is absolutely awesome. And they're easily removed if you don't wanna fly with them because the performance should be better without all this added drag. So if you take that off, it will go a little bit faster. Moving to the rear, you have dual vertical stabilizers with rudders. In the real plane, you have stabilators or you have a um, all moving tail plane. Whereas in this model aircraft, it's just a horizontal stabilizer with elevators at the rear. Now this model is a six channel aircraft. You have control of the throttle, ailerons, elevator, rudder, flaps, and it has retractable undercarriage, which is awesome. It looks so good. and has a nice amount of dampening to it. Looking under the canopy now, you just clip these little a switch or a little clip back here, you flick that back, the canopy pops off and you can see all those tangled cables which I need to get to. Now in this version, the version 2, it actually came with a gyro accelerometer inside there. So that's, they call it the Reflex version 2 and that gives this aircraft three modes. So you have mode 1, basically just normal mode, uh, otherwise known as direct law for the Airbus pilots out there. And then you've got what's called an optimized mode. And optimized means that the flight controls will move when the aircraft is disturbed by turbulence or wind when it's up in the air. It will help make the plane fly a little bit more stable, a little bit more smooth. And the third mode is what they call stabilize. And that is where the aircraft will roll wings level every time you take your hands off the control. So if you're in a bank and you let go of the control, it will automatically level itself back out. So that is, they recommended, uh, recommended for beginners, and recommend it for me, that's for sure. And me. I'm not going to be flying this anytime soon. <laughs> Trust me on that one. We'll get there eventually. First, we need to get Amber on that T28, maybe in two weeks. Even that scares me. And then we're going to get Amber <laughs> on the jet. Now, for the radio, we're going to be using our Spectrum DX6 radio. Hopefully, we're going to be upgrading <laughs> soon to the NX8 or NX10. And then for the uh, receiver, we have got ourselves the AR620. That's just the basic uh, receiver there, and that's gonna be used in conjunction with the Reflex version two. The motor that comes with this jet is a 1850 kV brushless motor with a 12 bladed fan. Uh, the ESC is a 70 amp ESC, and well, I think that's about it, Amber, for our overview today. If you wanna know more on this jet, We'll have a link in the description down below where you can pick yourself up one or just read up on it. Now, I don't honestly speech this and how good this looks. This is our first jet, so you're gonna get a good idea on if, you know, if you're looking for your first jet, could this be the one? We're gonna find out very soon in the flight video and the flight video is gonna be happening, I reckon, in about a week's time. So in order to not miss that, make sure you go ahead and you hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. And if you didn't, give it a like anyway. Make sure you're staying safe out there on your RC adventures. And remember guys, make sure you check out the RCQs.com. Get yourself a cap, get yourself a top, get yourself a hoodie. We're the RC Kiwis. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace out.